Hi everyone, and welcome to another training video from the Technology Training Department at the conference. In this training video, we're going to take a look at a new app available to you in the Microsoft 365 portal called Visio. Microsoft Visio helps you organize complex ideas visually, and you can get started with hundreds of templates, including flowcharts, timelines, floor plans, and more. And also in this video, we will check out the process steps template then move to adding shapes to a crime scene photo, something similar to those lines. Let's begin. Simply open your web browser, sign in to the Microsoft portal. In the upper left hand corner, you can click on the app launcher, then locate Visio. Click the Visio web application. Directly from this page, you can see that you can open a new blank drawing. You may also open a flowchart template and quite a few other templates that are directly available to you. And what that will do is provide the shapes and the actual components available to you in the navigation. I'm going to select new blank drawing. Over on the left hand side in the navigation, you'll be able to make the selection for the different shapes that are directly available for this template. There's going to be some additional ones I'm going to want to add, so all you have to do is click the plus sign, then scroll to find any of the additional features, components that you want. In this case, I do want to add banners as well as call outs and I'm gonna add process steps. You can scroll to locate any additional shapes, images, things that you would like to use within your document. All right, very good. In the upper middle section where it says drawing-saved, we are using the Microsoft portal and also a web browser to complete this process. What it will do is automatically save as we make changes to this and this document is directly saved into your OneDrive by default. So instead of it going into a specific folder, it will directly go into your OneDrive unless you decide to make changes to this. I'm going to go ahead, we will just add a date to this. Save. And if I were to open my OneDrive, see that it should be right down here. There we go. So that looks good. Okay, going back to the drawing. Let's go ahead and we're going to add some shapes. While I do this, I'm going to speed up the process because as I drag and drop all of these shapes onto this document. It's going to take just a little bit of time, but I'll show you, go through a couple of them, and then we'll speed up the timeline on this video and get back to this as quickly as possible, allowing us to wrap up. One thing you'll also want to do is always become familiar with the tabs and the options that are available to you. We're currently in the Home tab. Once we have some components added will be able to modify and the grayed out buttons will be highlighted which will allow us to you utilize them. Next we'll have the insert tab. You can insert pictures, online pictures, stock images, you can also draw shapes, add comments, also change the design. Maybe in this case this appears to be landscape. If you wanted to change to make it portrait, you could certainly do that, as well as change the size based on printing if you need to do that. You'll also see the dashed line that will be your direct border. That would usually be the limitation of the printer that you're potentially using. So that will be the farthest edge that you want to apply any shape or image. You can also change the theme. Also, review, 
and just check some of the components out. Okay, so in the very beginning, let's go, I'm gonna add a process level. And in this case, I'm just going to do a demonstration for, say we're putting together a conference. Locate the shape that you need added to your document. Simply drag and drop that right onto the document. You can adjust the size, make it as big as you want. You'll see the controls that will allow you to make, make those adjustments. After we have the shape inserted into the document, you'll notice here that we do have the options that will allow us to modify this actual shape. If I directly click into the shape, I can then add text to this, this shape. And if you press return or enter, it will take it to the next the next line. If you want to click or use your cursor to click away or outside of the shape, I'm gonna increase the font size. It looks good. Of course, if you wanted to change this to any different font, you can do that right from within your format, format font name section. I am going to to control C or you could right click copy control V to paste or right click paste give us a second box I'm gonna resize this just a little bit and in this one I'm gonna resize it all together and we'll call this online Registration system. Now I will want to find a line. There are some components here that I could use directly within the shape specifically for the process steps. However, I believe I'm going to want to locate a different one. I'm going to use a straight line. So what I will do is click and drag this straight line over here. Drop it right onto the sheet. I'm going to click the little circle, radial control. And I'm going to click the other one, drag and drop it right here to the connection point. And that looks okay. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Looks like that is not as straight as I would like it to be, but we will take advantage of this. And whoop, I'm going to right click and I'm gonna change the color of that line to be black because I'm gonna use that throughout this to add the additional boxes and shapes onto this document. Okay, now this is a point I am going to speed up now so you don't have to sit here and watch me go through all of these and we'll come back very shortly.
Okay, now we have this process steps flowchart that will give us a better understanding of the overall process of setting up a conference. Now let's take a look at creating a crime scene photo. Let's say we have the photo of a crime scene and we're going to want to add a few shapes and images to it so that we can help our audience, maybe the jury, understand a little better about what actually happened. Go ahead, click back on the Visio tab, select new blank drawing. We'll immediately go ahead, name this, we'll call this Crime Scene 021013. I'm going to select the Insert tab, and I have the picture located on my computer. So I'll click Pictures, click Choose File, let's go to Crime Scene, click Insert. We'll need to resize this, so we'll take this all the way up to the upper left hand corner where the dashed line is. We'll click the little circle control, drag and drop it to the bottom. That will resize it. Next, we just want to add just a few things to help point out some missing components to this picture that maybe our jury will miss. We're currently in basic shapes. If we wanted to add a banner, we could simply click the plus sign, click Add Banners. However, I do believe just adding this rectangle, we'll add that to the very top edge. I'm going to type in it. Type Crime Scene 2021. Change the overall size of the font and let's change that instead of from blue. Let's right click inside the shape, click fill, change it to red. Really drawing that out. Okay, now I'm going to want to add some call outs. I do not have those directly within the current shape components, arrows either. So we will want to click the plus sign, want to add the callouts component. And we'll simply do a pin callout one. Click, drag and drop that right to the position where I want that or need that to go. I am going to change the color of this as well. Make this yellow. And we'll type Let's change that to 14. And we cannot see that very well, so let's double click back in there. We we'll want to change the font color to black. Okay, that looks good. I am going to change that also to Arial. Let's make it Arial black. There we go. Now, I like this. I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to go through and change the font, uh, the font type, the color, etc. So I'm just going to right click, copy, right click, paste, and we'll put that right over top of weapon number two. Okay, here we go. And so we have an image that will hopefully help others to better understand exactly what is taking place in the picture versus them looking at it and maybe not seeing exactly the things that need to be seen. Well, this completes our video training on Microsoft Visio. Thanks for paying attention and thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.